uh, we don't find it difficult. Um, let us uh, step back a little bit. There's, there's no money in the world by which you could uh, now start uh, a process by which you would have uh, a vaccine. You, you need to have uh, been growing your science centers for many for many years in order for now being in the position of doing that. And in Spain, we have released uh, 30 million euros of 30 million euros of own uh, fresh money for this, and we are full ahead with a couple of uh, very um, reputable centers in trying to find the vaccine, trying to find uh, uh, diagnostics that are uh, that are new and are faster and and well. Uh, and at the same time, we are working uh, with uh, European Union programs with other groups that uh, that required the. the a conjunction with uh, people in other countries of the European Union and quite uh, successfully, I think. I've seen you uh, quoted as saying that uh, Spain may have a candidate to become a coronavirus vaccine by the end of April. Uh, that comment uh, more than a week ago, I believe. Could you just update us now? What is the status of that development programme? It is going full blown. It is... Uh Quite a complicated uh, system of acquiring a vaccine, but uh, but a very modern one in which you take uh, the whole uh, genes of the virus and only remove from the virus everything that that makes it uh, dangerous and keep all the rest. And that that takes a while, I have to say. And and by the end of April, hopefully, or or, or very soon after that, we will start working with uh, with. Uh, versions of the virus that uh, that can already be tested probably in, in, in animal models. That's quite a complex thing to do. And I'm, I don't want to say that we are going to start having uh, people injected already with anything uh, at the end of April, but uh, the process is going at, at full speed and people are responding very, very well. Sir, there have been a succession of previously pro-European um, figures who are very disappointed at the common European approach, at the approach from the Commission about the support from the North coming south as well. A lot of that criticism has come from Italy. Do you share some of those concerns and some of those sentiments? I, I have been uh, working as minister not very long, for about two years, but that's been sufficient to see that... Uh, that you have to give uh, people time in Europe to uh, to change mentality, but then it goes full blown. Uh, I think we can turn this crisis certainly into an opportunity to to rethink Europe into a, a more cohesive, uh, uh, let's say, area, into a place where citizens understand that it's been a great advantage to build this union, and I am sure that uh, the small uh, or, or big, but uh, so, um, but surmountable uh, um, bumps that we are finding in the way will be will be solved in a matter of weeks. Because really, uh, the crisis is such that uh, Europe is only going to go ahead in its uh, in its uh, solidarity and its union, or it's going to go back into uh, into something completely irrelevant. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.